morning my soccer universe let's do this old style almost it's almost a year since i started world cup not quite yet but you know, almost uh and we're doing national teams especially talking about the nations league which we have now the first final four ever and for that i'm wearing my new switzerland jersey a jersey that i got pretty much because switzerland qualified for this final four in pretty uh, spectacular fashion given that they were 2-0 down at home to Belgium when they needed a win and they beat them 5-2 um, probably one of the more impressive feats in the Nations League where Switzerland actually at home in a group with Belgium and Iceland Switzerland at home was spectacular I think they beat Iceland 6-0 uh, 5-2 against Belgium so that should tell you a lot of that Switzerland is really a country that these days especially if it's not at a big tour tournament you have to take quite seriously however when I look at the um, when I look at the first semi-final which they play against Portugal this upcoming Wednesday um, I have a feeling if this was played in Switzerland, Switzerland would make it to the final. But the fact that it's played in Portugal, a little bit less so that he is back with the Portugal squad. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, actually, makes me believe that Portugal are the favorite for the first semifinal. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, they are hosting the whole tournament, so uh, I think Port Portugal is the spot-on favorites to win the entire tournament and especially the game against Switzerland. Although they had recently uh, the World Cup qualification, if you remember, Switzerland was winning nine in a row, only to lose on the last match day against Portugal 2-0. They beat Portugal at home 2 0, and the other way around, um, Portugal only lost that one game in Switzerland, which I think they, they had the first and the last game, something like that. It was very early and very late that the two of them uh, played each other. Uh, and in the end, yeah, Switz Switzerland qualified and then had a so and so World Cup. Um, I think they could have achieved more, and that's the one thing with Switzerland, I have to say. I'm talking a lot about Switzerland. Um, I think this squad is ready for the next step. They remind me a little bit of Mexico, who cannot get past this round of 16 stage. Uh, Switzerland is for sure already a qualifying team, and now that they qualify for the final four of the Nations League, uh, I think is a step that really shows Switzerland is a force to be reckoned with in Europe. And I mean, they have been for quite, quite a while, especially when it comes to qualification tournaments. For Portugal, this is now a big chance to get another European title. Uh, they are the reigning European champions, now they can add the Nations League on home soil to it, uh, which would be actually an impressive resume. Uh, I have to say, for, especially for um, their coach um, Santos, that uh, would be something that um, you wouldn't have necessarily expected. Uh, I'm curious to see how Ronaldo will uh, fit into the squad again, uh, how Portugal will play, will they keep playing their very defensive uh, style that was kind of the default for uh, Euro 16 or now that they play at home will they try to be a little bit more uh, proactive, um, especially given given the opposition is not like now the true royalty. Um, the interesting part is that there's only one World Cup title at this Final Four and that is the uh, England team. But we'll get to them in a second. Uh, so I'm curious to see what Portugal will offer. Um, I th Just by the sheer thought, thought of it, this might be the most rested that Ronaldo has been in a while. Uh, so he could he he could he could dominate, um, and yeah, he will. He is the talisman, and another title. And I don't think he will let go of the Nations League trophy. Although we know we don't yet know what the uh, value of this trophy actually is, since it's a new tournament. I said it before. 
all the distractors, I think that this Nations League will eventually supersede the European Championship. I just have this hunch for it. I'm, maybe I'm way, way ahead of my time in this case. So, so um, I think Portugal will win, and I actually will even think it will be a 2-0 win for Portugal. Um, Switzerland away from home is not as great as Switzerland at home. And for that reason, I'm gonna uh, think it will be a 2-0 for Portugal. Uh, but you know, I am ready to be surprised. And let's go to the other semi-final, which will be played on Thursday evening, which is between England and the Netherlands. It's a little bit, at least from the names, a little bit juicier matchup. One that I was actually a little bit hoping for. Um, England against the Netherlands. Sounds, you know, it's so Euros 2000, uh, not, uh, not 2016, 1996, anyway. The, um, the surprising thing is that the, those two nations have not played a lot against each other on the biggest stage. I think the last time was actually 1996. Uh, they didn't play against each other in 98, 2000 for sure, 2002 also not. Um, 2002, no. Uh, 2004, of course not, they were in opposing branches. Uh, 2006, there was also, uh, they would have played if the Netherlands beat Portugal, then this would have been a quarterfinal. Uh, so that didn't work out. Uh, 2008, England was not there. 2010, the Netherlands um, never looked uh, at England there. Yeah. And then 2012, nope. 2014, nope. 2016, nope. So the last time was really the 96 when England beat them 4-1. I don't think it will be as close, uh, as uh, clear. No, it's close. I think it will be a close one. Um, however, I have my, I have my doubts about the England squad, and not because I, I think if it was a World Cup a game, I would actually at the moment favor England. Um, there. I think they have uh, they have shown a little bit more. Remember in the Nations League, um, England lost at home to Spain but won away to Spain and got a draw and a win against Croatia which actually allowed them to win uh, their Nations League group with Spain. It was mostly down to Spain actually succumbing uh, to the pressure but the show that England had in Spain was actually quite impressive. Um, by the way I should also talk quickly about Portugal, uh, their Nations League results, they had of course a um, win against Italy to start of the campaign, then a uh, win against Poland, then they, and then with two draws they safely qualified with all. They never were actually in danger um, of not qualifying because Poland and Italy didn't pull, pull up the opposition that, they, uh, that needed to be there. Okay, so England had Pretty hefty group. I mean, uh, Spain, England, and Croatia. This was a really nice group and a very level group. Although Spain at the beginning completely dominated it, and then couldn't get a result to save their lives. I think they they won the first two, they lost the last two. Uh, so it was really down to Spain, not you know, not following through on their promise. And then England and Croatia battled it out in the final match who will make it to the uh, final four and I, this was one of the best games because whatever the result there was one winner uh, so even if it was a draw it would have been the third team Spain that would have advanced but this way England came from behind to beat Croatia at home uh, kind of getting a little bit of revenge for the semi-final exit and I think England as a national team has grown immensely however the reason why I don't rate England now at this tournament as highly, although I think this would be the perfect trophy for England to win, to actually, uh, you know, get over this hump and this must, I have to win a title. This would be the perfect tournament. However, they just played the Champions League final. You saw that Harry Kane is not fit in the Champions League final. Mo many, many England uh, players have been playing uh, last Saturday and the top nine players will be a little bit, I don't want to say hungover, but you know, um, not very, very motivated. And, uh, you know, when I look at the performance of Kane and Dele Alli, who are vital forces for the England team, that doesn't look good. And then uh, the Liverpool players, they just they had a huge parade and all that kind of thing. It just doesn't, 
scream good preparation for a semi-final. Well, the same could be said for Van Dijk and Van Aldum, but the rest of the Dutch squad, um, they're less... Van Dijk was really the only... and Van Aldum is playing, I mean, those two are the ones that would they play a vital role for the Dutch. The rest of the Dutch team, I think, will be... Um, all right, and so for that reason, I actually think that the Dutch have a decent chance against England. Um, when we look at the Dutch uh, way to the final four, it actually started with a loss to the world champions France, which is nothing to really be upset about, and then they beat Germany 3 0, uh, a game where the result was way too high. I mean, we don't need to uh, sugarcoat that uh, Germany was actually quite well into the game. Uh, then uh, they, ha they had to they beat France at home rather comfortably. France did not show much. Uh, France was a little bit approached this tournament like a diva. Well, we don't want to necessarily get relegated. We showed what we need to show when we are playing at home, but away from home, nah, you know, let's get a nil-nil and whatever. The only good showing that they really had was at home to Germany. Uh, where they had some motivation seemingly. But then the game in the Netherlands, in Rotterdam, the Netherlands fully deserved their, I think it was a 2-0 win, fully, fully deserved, and that put them on the cusp of qualification. They just needed to get a draw in Germany, which they got despite being two goals down. I still remember the great goal from Van Dijk. If Van Dijk is super professional, that this Dutch team and not too much affected by winning this whole Champions League shebang. I know I just said it for England, but I think it was also a vote that, that this play that was on show that makes me a little bit wonder. I think the Dutch have a slight, slight, slight edge, and I would say the Dutch will win it 1 0. So then we have a. Uh, let's go quickly. Um, a place for third match between England and Switzerland. In regulation, I don't know if they play overtime or whatever. I think Switzerland in the end will uh, win that one too. It's really down. I I hope I actually would love if England wins this. I really would love to have England wins this. Although uh, my my sympathies definitely are with the Dutch there as always. But I think my second favorite actually would be England to win it. But um, I think Switzerland will get the third spot and then. Um, I don't see the Netherlands beating Portugal in Portugal. Uh, has been a while that those to play, but whenever the Netherlands play for Portugal, Portugal wins. Um, I think it will be a 2-1 win for Portugal in the final. Portugal gets the trophy and Ronaldo will not let it lose for a while and will say Messi, me too, you zero. Follow up in the Copa America. But we'll talk about the Copa America in another video. Let me know how you think the games will go. Uh, there's also a lot of European qualifiers to, to be played. We'll talk about those in a separate video. Um, but I want to get this Nations League uh, out, out, out of the way because I'm actually quite excited about it. I'm looking forward to watch that. Anyway, let me know how you think the, the, all those games will go, how you like the Nations League. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.